So in this video, let's let's take a practical application of applying dynamic formulas in Excel. So in this case, what we're going to do is multiply the purchase price times the number of stocks. Now, if we just went in and typed in the values manually, so $200.45 times the number of stocks, 215, we get the correct result. However, watch what happens if I change the number of stocks. We should see the purchase total change, and as you can see, it didn't. That's because what we ended up typing in was a static formula. What we want is dynamic in Excel. So what we're going to say is equals whatever value is in B3, in this case the purchase price of Google Inc. stock, times the value in C3, which is our number of stocks, and enter. So if you notice, we get the same result. Now, however, because we did this function or formula, sorry, dynamically, if I change this, you'll see that the purchase price changed as well. So once we're done with that, we can go ahead and, and simply copy it down to get our remaining results. And let's not forget to audit. So if you notice, I click on here, I look up, I'll double click. And you'll see that my formula says that it's taking equals B8 times C8. That's what I would expect to get. And that is a basic use of multiplication in Excel.